Well, it's almost been three years now since a local reporter and her photographer were murdered at Smith Mountain Lake. The lone survivor of the attack and other community leaders want to see something positive come from the tragedy. 10 News reporter Magda Lelousant tells us what their idea is. Officials with Smith Mountain Lake have talked about building a community center for almost two decades. Even the day before a reporter, Allison Parker, and photographer Adam Ward were killed during a live interview in 2015. We were working uh, that morning on August 26th on the 50th anniversary and all of the joyous things that were coming with it and the people and the reach and and uh, and we had a very tragic shooting. Vicki Gardner was there that morning. She was the lone survivor. Coming out of that, we really felt, I felt so strongly that uh, that something good and positive and, and with lasting effect must happen in this community as a result of that horrible tragedy. Shortly after the Smith Mountain Lake Center board was reestablished, it conducted a survey to see if people would support a center which could be used for entertainment and educational purposes. Strong need as voiced by the residents of Bedford and Franklin counties across the counties. We know that the data now supports this. Officials say the survey has shown in the first year for the region, the center could generate 40 to $50 million of additional economic activity. And that translates into three to $5 million in tax revenue for localities and for the state. As they search for investors, they're looking at sites and exploring the ideas of building from scratch or renovating an existing building. In Smith Mountain Lake, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.